top plate rebuild or replace inspection procedures for the Holland FW17 and FW35 series fifth wheels. In order to begin the rebuild or replace inspection for the fifth wheel, you must first remove the top plate. To start the removal process, first remove the bracket pin retention bolts and nuts from both sides of the fifth wheel top plate. Next, using a pry bar, Pull the bracket retention pins out of the fifth wheel top plate. Using a lifting device capable of lifting 500 pounds, remove the fifth wheel from the mounting base. Note, follow instructions published by the lifting device manufacturer for proper operation of the lifting device. Place the fifth wheel right side up on a flat clean working area or dedicated fifth wheel rebuild stand. Thoroughly clean the top plate before inspecting the fifth wheel. Begin by performing a thorough inspection of the entire fifth wheel top plate. Search for any cracks or damage. Verify that the grease groove pattern has not been worn away. Also look for any evidence of weld repair on the fifth wheel casting. Note, if cracks, damage, or evidence of weld repair are found during the inspection, the fifth wheel must be replaced. Measure the flatness of the top surface of the fifth wheel casting using a straight edge that reaches across the top plate from one side to the other. Verify that the straight edge remains in consistent contact on both sides of center of the top plate, checking if the fifth wheel is warped. If the fifth wheel is warped, a gap will appear between the straight edge and the top plate. Note, if a gap between the top plate and straight edge exceeds one eighth of an inch, the fifth wheel must be replaced. Inspect the top surface of the casting where the lock components move to their open and unlocked position during uncoupling for damage. Lock components should move freely into their unlocked position in the casting with a minimum vertical clearance of four hundredths of an inch above and below the lock. Note, if damage in this area is found or the vertical clearance of either side of the lock is less than four hundredths of an inch, the fifth wheel must be replaced. Check the tightness of the lock pin to the hole in the fifth wheel casting. Verify that the lock pin can easily rotate. If rotation is prohibited by the casting, the fifth wheel must be replaced. Check the radius of the front lock of the casting using a radius gauge. The radius should be a minimum of one and a half inches. If the radius is less than one and a half inches, the fifth wheel must be replaced. If any of the previously described issues have been found during the inspection, do not attempt to repair the fifth wheel. Replacement of the fifth wheel is necessary. If during the inspection none of the previously described issues were found, proceed with the proper procedure to rebuild your fifth wheel. Top plate rebuild or replace inspection procedures for the Holland FW17 and FW35 series fifth wheels is now complete.